What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Les Alex here with another video. Today's video is going to be a lot different than my previous videos. It's actually a new series that I'm starting. Not sure how regular these are going to be, but they will be in their own playlist. So if you dig it, make sure to slap that like. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Today, we're going to be talking about getting into the trials in the new series I'm calling Thought Scour. And what the heck is Thought Scour? Well, basically what this series is meant to do is be a little short, quick hit, quick thoughts about a specific card. In this scenario, I'm going to be talking about Gideon of the Trials and its viability and blue-white control in Pioneer, but maybe it's uh, some, some theory or maybe it's a different card or a different deck, but basically little short videos that have very concise messages that I want to get across that are a little bit too long for Twitter and too short to talk about on my podcast, The Control Freak, which you should go check out. It'll be right up there and down there. Let's get into getting into the trials, viability in Pioneer, blue-white control, obviously at PT Phoenix. Lotus Breach and Demir Inverter were all over the place. Of course, these decks want to use Thassa's Oracle to get in there and win the game via milling themselves out, basically. Now, the problem with that is you can kill Thassa's Oracle, but the trigger will still go off and you'll die. Um, in both instances, in both cases. Um, but getting the Trials, zero ability makes it so that that doesn't happen. So let's take a look here at a couple of lists that I found on Magic the Gathering Online and how they've utilized getting of the Trials. Now, some of the pros I've pointed out here, obviously this is in the sideboard, so this is specifically... This player has decided to bring them in against those matchups. But in another, uh, the Pioneer Challenge, we do have a player here that has decided to play it main deck in blue-white control. If I could find, there it is. Um, in 12th place, no, no slouch. These tournaments are pretty big, 150, 200 people sometimes for these challenges. And yeah, main deck, getting into the trials. So obviously, let's go on over here. Pros, the emblem 100% just locks them out of the game unless you play it and then they attack it. But at that point, you should just uptick on their inverter and you'll have no worries. And against Lotus Breach, they pretty much just can't win unless they expansion ex or explosion. It's also pretty good against uh, the Swedish Soltai list. It nerfs their attacker, so it's not terrible there. It can turn the corner extremely well. And against these other mid-range decks, it can turn the corner extremely well, and you can finish the game off rather quickly. I mean, fouring your opponent every single turn, as long as you can keep him protected, not too shabby. And it combines very well with Elspeth Sun's Nemesis or even Elspeth Sun's Champion later in the game. So I definitely like it for the mid-range matchups as well. And it pairs with Supreme Verdict. Oh my god, it, it pairs with Supreme Verdict so well. Because you verdict their board away and then bash them for four, keep up counter magic the rest of the game and ride that horse to victory. Now, of course, the cons, there are many, honestly, in the current meta, but it isn't good against the devoted go wide aggro decks. So, mono red, so mono black, obviously not great. But generally speaking, this card is pretty good, I think, in the meta. And as we can see from the Pioneer Challenge, it's starting to see play in blue-eye control and even in the main decks, which is actually pretty surprising even for me, and I like this card. Um, it kind of ebb and flows, whether it's good in certain metas in certain uh, formats, but I think right now it is pretty good and, and a pretty safe bet, at least as a one-of in the sideboard. I wouldn't go too crazy. I don't think this is a four of by any means, but I definitely think it's worth a one of. Um, and this is a card that I think a lot of blue-white control players are kind of sleeping on right now. So if uh, if you're having trouble against the inverter deck or the breach deck, it, the inverter matchup is is very close. I think they're they're favored slightly, um, but the breach deck can definitely be difficult if you just break off and don't. Don't draw your counter spells or your Narset Parter avails. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, again, 
getting in the trials pretty good right now pretty good might want to pick them up they've kind of started to spike already but uh i think they're like 10 bucks but still if you pay 10 or 20 bucks for a card that's going to help you beat some some of your uh not so great matchups I think it might be worth it, but that is pretty much it for this, I don't want to say episode, but this first video in the series of Thought Scour. Again, just wanted a real quick, short, concise message to you today. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed what I've said here, and check me out on all these, <laughs> all those social medias. I got a Twitter Follow me over there, and of course the Twitch that I stream four nights a week. I stream once a week on YouTube as well. So check me out there, and of course the Control Freak podcast, where I have a weekly podcast devoted to all things Control and Pioneer, Standard and Modern. So if you like those things, check that out. Of course, all that information will be in the show notes below, and I'll probably have a couple of cards up there for you to click on. But until next time... Have a great day.